The following is a brief introduction of some of the features contained in Dispatch Release 213. The larger features of recurring bookings and zone profiles are dealt with individually in, the, in separate videos, the link for which uh, I will provide uh, below in the information section on this YouTube video. As with all videos, they should be used to complement the release notes for 213. Uh, the release notes are found in our Zendesk support por uh, portal, again the link for which I will list below. Driver documents. Driver documents can be attached to any driver's record by clicking on Manage Drivers Edit on any driver record or entering in a specific driver record and search Documents tab Attach on any section Attach Find your document Open a fake path will be entered, save, and the document is attached. To view the document at any time, click on view, back, and then to delete the document at any time, delete, and a confirmation pop-up will appear. Post and edit. The estimated mileage field will now automatically adjust if the pickup or destination is changed. This can be found from admin, bookings and the search criteria and search and then edit on any particular booking note the estimated mileage edit the pickup or the destination the estimated mileage will then update and that will trigger the pop-up which will allow you to adjust the cost and the price using the F1 and F2 keys. Post and edit navigation and short keys. Navigation and short keys have been added to allow for quick navigation and action on the post and edit screen. Post and edit screen can be found from admin, bookings, and our search criteria F3 to search. On the list below, the up and down keys can be used to navigate. Right and left can be used to navigate per page. The booking selected will be in blue, and Alt P will post the booking. Alt E will enter the edit mode of the booking. F6 after changes have been made to return. The very next booking in line will then be highlighted in blue. And Alt or will then uh, can be used to remove this booking. Staff authorization booking control. On the staff record, booking control configuration has been added to restrict staff right click and key press actions on bookings. For example, on the, for this test operator, right click on any booking and we have the pause function and the copy function. Opening up the staff record, admin, staff, in the dispatch operator listing on the staff record, all of the booking controls will be listed. If we find the copy and the pause ones, we can remove them, copy, pause, update the staff record, refresh, we'll simulate a staff logging out and logging back in. Now when the same staff member right clicks on a booking, the copy and the pause are removed and also their corresponding C and P button presses have no uh, action whatsoever. Resorting vias. Vias can be resorted and reorganized by dragging and dropping. Find a booking with vias, right click, edit, click on the F10 pop-up, the vias will be listed. In the very first column there will be an up and a down arrow. Click and hold one of the vias 
and you can drag it to where you need it. Save and close will save that setting. Via pausing. Vias can now also be paused on recurring bookings. Find your recurring booking, right click edit. Standard operator information to say that you are editing a recurring series. Press any key to continue. F10. Note there is now a calendar icon beside each of the vias. The via that you wish to pause, click on the calendar. Each of the days which the via is due to run are highlighted in green. Click on the grid to pause for that particular day. Click off the grid. Save and close. F1 to save. If you wish to pause this via on all days, then click update all bookings. If you wish to pause this via on this one particular occurrence of the recurrence series, then click update this booking only. Invoice split on vias. On a booking that has multiple vias on different accounts, it is now possible to specify a percentage that will be charged to each account of the total fare. On a booking with vias, right click edit. On the F10 pop up, each via will correspond to a particular account. Click the split invoice button. A share column will open up with defaulting to 100% for the first account. A percentage can be then be specified for each via. This is the percentage of the total fare which will be charged to each account. Save and close. F1 to save. Generic field ordering. The order by which the generic field pop-up will appear on the operator screen when an account is entered into the account field can be defined globally in manage accounts, edit on any account, generic fields, and on the far right there is an order column. Changes here will affect all accounts. Driver record system defaults. Navigating to the driver records in manage drivers, edit on any driver record, system, On the bottom right, there is a save and set as default button. If the driver record is changed in the system tab, a save action will save as normal and for it not change any other records in the future. If in the system tab any changes are made and the save and set as default button is used, then all newly created driver records will take on those options by default. Destination pickup prompter. A destination pickup prompter has been added to the system to help calculate the pickup time for bookings going to airports. To activate the pickup time prompter, enter in a pickup. Hit Alt V on the keyboard. The operator can then ask the customer at what time do they need to get to their destination at. Say 1952, and then if it takes 35 minutes for, to get to the airport, the pickup time is automatically calculated. Press escape to close, and the pickup time is and is adjusted on the booking form. But the destination pickup time prompter can be enabled and disabled from admin, configs, setting, booking settings, and the second option down. Operator shortcuts. From the operator screen, an F12 button press will activate the read only list of shortcuts available. All of the shortcuts will be listed corresponding to where they can be found in the operator. With the keyword search corresponding to the F6 box, the pre bookings tab, the booking form, dispatching tab. This will be handy for, operate, for new operators learning the system and also as a quick reference guide. There is also a shortcut guide for SPAT shortcuts which can be found in our Zendesk portal. The link for which I will list below this video.